Okay guys, this is um, the Singularity Computers um, Proteum Reservoir um, Pump, Pump Top, um, D5 Pump um, and how to pretty much assemble it. Uh, it's actually really really easily so we can get started and I'll show you how to put it together um, so if you want to do any water cooling um, these are pretty much my go to water cooling bits of kit um, for water cooling um, they, they, I think they range from like um, 50mm, 100mm, 150mm, 200 um, up to 300mm reservoirs um, they're really really good bits of kit so um, we'll get started, we'll get the parts out of the box um, that is the the pump cover uh, and as you can see it's got a little kind of a dampener um, that goes in um, like so uh, so that the bottom bits obviously like that um, for aesthetics, um, so that's the pump cover. We'll set that aside. Uh, next one is let's see what this is. Uh, this is the the pump top. Um, obviously, that's part of the um, the reservoir. Um, this bit screws off like so. and you can obviously um, screw your reservoir into the top um, this has obviously got um, look at this side here as the um, out and this is the return this is a return and the back is a return as well so you've got three returns and obviously you're um, out for um, pumping the, the fluid there's a little bit. You've also got an O-ring inside. I don't know if the camera can pick that up. The little white O-ring. Um, obviously that's to seal the, the reservoir. But we'll get the reservoir out and we'll start getting it um, together. This is just the, the D5 pump. Um, it's came braided. Um, you can obviously pick the option but it comes with a, an O-ring as well. Um, so you've got your um, Molex for power and you've got your PWM for um, controlling it through software or whatever software you want to use. So let's get the reservoir out. This is the reservoir. This is the 150ml one. Um, basically, all you do is unscrew the top end, um, grab the, the pump uh, top, literally making sure obviously the o ring is, um, is still there because you don't want that falling out. That would be a bad day. Um, literally screw it in nice and gentle there we go so that's pretty much part one give it a nick make sure it's sealed simple as that and that as your reservoir onto your pump top. Um, now the next thing would be your pump attaching to the, the pump top. So we'll set that aside just now. Um, O-ring goes on um, the top of the pump. Pump cover. Um, so what we'll do is we'll take that off, we'll feed 
the wires through the pump cover because obviously you want them out the bottom and this is where it gets kind of fiddly so if you can see there's little slats so the wire literally just pops through so if you pop it through I normally just turn it round and it gives you a nice uh, clean look pop that in and you end up with that there easy as that flip it round pop the, the o-ring back on as you can see then all you need to do is grab your pump top and literally turn it around oh I hear that noise give it a good seal give it a good nick and you've got one reservoir ready to be installed into whatever water system you want um, it's as simple as that obviously making sure um, all your um, outlets are capped uh, um, obviously that would be another bad day if water starts pulling out of that and then obviously just double check and give everything just a, a little nick up so that you know everything's sealed properly once you're done give it a wipe with a cloth and it looks nice and sparkling as you can see by the by the camera um, as again so looking at it um, from your point of view so this side here um, as you're out and your left is your return or return or return depending obviously how you're, you're setting up your work cooled system um, you can either return it at the bottom or you can return it from the top as well now if you can see inside it's got the return tube that just stops obviously air and bubbling up which is quite good um, so that's obviously going into the, the 9900k system that I'm, I'm building at the moment so we'll, we'll try and um, splice this into the, the other video as well so I hope that helps you guys um, there's also um, oops, there's also this part as well um, that goes onto the top of the, the reservoir um, it gives you a little bit extra height and it also gives you two two returns and two returns at the top as well um, if you want to completely change your loop order or depending on obviously what loop you are using or design you can basically loosen this and then you can turn the top um, to get a, a good um, line on your on your loop which is um, which is a fantastic design Daniel at um, Singularity Computers has done really well with these um, and I've got them on pretty much um, every system that I've built or I'm currently using at the moment so there we go, I'm looking at the counter under 10 minutes um, to explain that and to build it um, any questions guys again, um, pop them down, I'll try and get them answered um, please subscribe uh, and like my videos and we'll get more videos up tech related, anything tech related uh, PCs, servers, cars um, you, name it, you name it anything tech related we'll try and get up ok guys, thanks again see you in the next one